Let's spend a couple of minutes going through the features of the Cronus widget. In this particular case, I have the Cronus widget placed on my home screen. And the Cronus app, if I go into it, I have uh, upgraded to the Pro version of the Cronus app. You can see that in the um, About section. Um, and within the About section, you also have the ability to take a log of your application um, activities. So specifically, if there's anything wrong with your weather update, we would ask you for a log. You can go directly to the Google Plus community. You can send us an email, etc. Um, so what I've done is I've got the purchased uh, the the pro version of the app, and that's opened up a few features that the standard version doesn't have. For example, in the general appearance section, you now have the ability to change the widget background to a color. And in my case, what I want to do is pick a nice sort of transparent blue. So I selected the, the, the color, pick this transparency, and I say OK to that. And I want to show the background with a rounded corner. Now, one thing you'll notice as, as um, I did this setting is you'll notice in the top corner, it says Cronus Flex number two. The one is that I was configuring right now is the one on the lock screen. If I want to change the same setting for the one on the home screen, I would have to switch back to Cronus Flex number one on the home screen, go into the general appearance, change the color fill to the same blue with a little bit of alpha, uh, rounded corners, and if I go out and back to the widget, you'll now see that that widget has the background with the rounded corners as I've uh, selected to have. A couple of other things. So uh, the Cronus widget, if you tap on the weather, gives you the forecast information. Currently, we're set to Yahoo weather, and we're using the colored icon set. Um, let's change that. So if I go into Cronus again, I'm making sure that I'm configuring the one on my home screen. If I go into the weather panel, you'll notice that the icon set the modern icon set is now available for me to select. So that is a pro feature. I'm going to select that. And uh, if I go back to my desktop to see the change, you'll now notice it's using a different icon set for the weather panel. Now, one thing you may have noticed is that uh, we have different weather providers. So if you go into Cronus weather panel, you go to the weather source, we have Yahoo Weather, AccuWeather, and Open Weather Map. There's a bit of a difference between these three. Both Yahoo Weather and Open Weather Map supplies uh, forecast data for us, so we can show the forecast data as you've just seen with the five-day forecast. Uh, AccuWeather app is an experimental feature at this point. The location service is not working as intended. It's a bug in Open Weather Map, not us. And uh, if you are going to use Open Weather Map, make sure you set your um, set your settings to a custom location. AccuWeather will also show weather information in standard format, but when you go in to see the details, we launch the AccuWeather provider, which gives you the AccuWeather detail in a lot more deta weather detail. Uh, you can get multi-day forecast. You can get we we weekend forecast extended forecasts, etc. So this is the AccuWeather forecast. It's a little bit different from the Yahoo forecast because AccuWeather does not provide us with the same forecast data as the Yahoo weather provider does for us. So I'm going to switch back to the Yahoo provider. And you'll notice that tapping on there, I get the, uh, the weather uh, in the Yahoo format. Now, a couple of other things. I've enabled the Pro features on this device, which means I can set uh, some of the Pro uh, feature widgets. And one I want to show, for example, is the Forecast widget. So I'm selecting the Cronus Forecast widget. I'm placing that. This is the exact same thing. You can configure appearance. You can configure a background. In this particular case, let's pick uh, pinkish background for it, rounded corner still. And you'll notice there it is on your home screen. Uh, you can resize the forecast. You'll notice that it has different layouts, large current conditions icon, smaller current conditions icon, or just a five day forecast, depending on the size of the widget that you select. 
Another forecast uh, widget feature, obviously you have the refresh, but another feature that you have in general with um, the pro version of Cronus is the ability to change your tap actions. So for example, uh, tapping on the clock opens up the standard clock application. Open up, uh, tapping on the weather shows the forecast information and tapping on the calendar does uh, opens up the calendar. These are things that can be changed in the Pro widget. So if we go into Cronus and we select the clock and alarm, you'll notice that there is an option to change the tap action and we can pick it to do anything. So for example, if I wanted it to open up, and this is sort of silly to do, but let's say for argument's sake, I wanted to open up um, uh, Dropbox. Uh, if I then go into the app and I tap on it, it's going to open up the Dropbox folder. So those are ways in which you can customize the actions that happen when you tap on components of the clock. There are a couple of other pro features in the application, so uh, feel free to go and discover those. Um, one of the things that I personally like is uh, if I uh, place the um, Clock Plus widget, which is just the clock itself. Uh, I'm going to put that on a new screen. Um, in, the, uh, in the alignment section for the clock, one can set to have it left or right aligned. I'm going to do left aligned. And I'm going to change the what background. I'm going to give this one a um, cyan background you will now notice the clock is aligned to the right of the, um, sorry, to the left of the screen. So you can do alignments of the clock, you can do alignments of the weather panels, uh, you can change the tap actions, you can change the background settings, you can use icon sets that are unique to the pro version, and there are a few other pro features that you'll discover as you use the app. Enjoy!